Hello and welcome back to Catch and Cook California. This is day two of our overnight foraging adventure. Last time we went into the woods to gather wild edible mushrooms, ended up at the beach gathering shellfish including steamer clams, and then we met up with Fishing Chef to do a little late night cooking. Today, as we greet the sunrise from our tent, we'll head back into the woods for mushrooms, cook up some delicious lunch, and then meet up with Philosophy D to dig gaper clams. Join us. Join us and keep the old ways alive. Good morning. Uh, it's early. The sun has risen. We're taking down the tent. Um, it got real cold last night, but uh, even though there was frost on the ground and uh, the ponds seem to have frozen over, we're good. So we're going to pack up, go on mushroom hunting, and then we're going to meet up with Philosophy D and we're going to do some intertidal action. Coffee, lifeblood of capitalism. <laughs> Let's go have an adventure. To start things off, Diane and I gathered a bunch of yellowfoots or winter chanterelles. Chensi got his outdoor kitchen set up, and if you'd like to see what he made for our delicious breakfast, you'll have to check out his channel. <laughs> we found a wide variety of edible fungi, including pig ear, hedgehog, winter chanterelle, candy cap, black trumpet, and more. Oh, it's a candy cap. We're into these winter chanterelles super, super thick right now. Um, you can see right here. Oh yeah. They're just all over the place out here. Oh my God. So we're gonna, Do I wanna go in there? <laughs> we're gonna gather a bunch. <laughs> you found more? Uh, yeah. Come check this out. Black trumpet. Black trumpet! Really? Good job. Woo! Has a really good flavor. <laughs> <laughs> so here I am skipping around the woods, making jokes about the basket, and uh, skipped right over the top of black trumpets right here. These little guys. These are quite delicious. That is a huge winter chanterelle. You can really see the branching here, that sort of brain-like primitive gill pattern. It's more like ridges and fingers coming out rather than paper-like pages in a book. So we got a whole bunch of winter chanterelles. Um, I want to get a shot of us three. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And we're headed back. We're going to go meet up with uh, Philosophy D and uh, do some intertidal foraging. I love your cutting board, dude. <laughs> it's awesome. fish. <laughs> You want me to get some of the radish? Yes. Yeah, Chintzy just spotted this. We're, we're like, oh, we forgot the wild greens. Oh wait, they're right here, <laughs> growing out of the hillside. Everywhere. <laughs> Sourdough bread. Then we'll throw our greens and sauteed mushrooms on there. And then we're gonna make a little panini. Mm, so fancy. Got some wild greens. These are mustard greens. Got winter chanterelles also known as yellowfoot mushrooms. Okay. Go for it. Put them in. All right. Man, the lid is a bit small, huh? Mm-hmm. Sandwich is a bit big. It's a good problem to have. <laughs> I'm excited, guys. Yeah, this looks really good. Mm. Goodness. Four of us, perfect. Each one gets uh, gets a half. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm hungry. 
Daniel, food's almost ready. Oh, perfect timing. He's coming. <laughs> he smelled it. <laughs> smelled it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, look at that. Miner's lettuce, also native and delicious. All right. And I'm going to cut it. I'm going to dig in then? Go for dig it, guys. In. Yeah, please. Yeah, I know. That's your other half. That's mine? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. There's another one they're making right The now. mustard greens will be a little bit bitter, but, um, oh, you know. Look at that. Go for Beauty. it. Enjoy. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, man. For sure. Thanks, Kevin. For sure. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right on, right on. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're right up by the bitterness. Yeah, it is bitter, right? Yeah, but it's good. Yeah. Good bitter today. That's amazing. Thanks, man. I'm salivating watching you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm drooling, but I don't care. <laughs> you approve? Yeah. <laughs> So big. <laughs> you are so big. Look, dude, dude that's a seven piece. incher. Look at his legs. <laughs> okay, we're going uh, clamming right now. <laughs> Join us. Diane and Daniel started by digging more steamer clams. Diane was adamant that we get our 30 back that we had eaten the night before. In the meantime, Chensi and I headed out into the mud flats. That's the end of the siphon of the clam. It's right there. See that one? They call it a horse nut clam, but let's be honest, it really resembles something else on the horse. Here, I think I almost got this one. Okay, I cracked its shell just a little bit. I know you want to come out of there. No, you don't. This is really funny. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Yes! Oh, there it is. How'd you crack the shell? Let me see. I broke it a little bit here with my hand. It's very fragile, but that's also why it's super sharp. Battle scars. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you can see it's just gushing here. Oh. That's, uh, yeah, these uh, horse neck clams and Washington clams have really sharp shells. So you get down in the hole and you're feeling it and your hand's numb because everything's really cold. And then you slip across the edge of that shell and it'll jack you up. So um, we're just gonna rub, rub some dirt in. <laughs> Got it? I decided to get sleeve tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it, you know? Oh my god. Grab <laughs> 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 I like your reaction to that. Ah! <laughs> I don't want to give up, but I feel like my arm is about to cramp. <laughs> this guy was tough, but oh my goodness. Oh, great sight. Oh. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Oh, man. That red underwear is definitely bringing you luck. Yes. Yes. I want to see it. Check that out. Okay, what's Kevin here? Kevin. Yeah. Hold that, hold that up. No, hold that up straight. <laughs> <laughs> like this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so big. So big. All right, I gotta deliver the, uh, I gotta deliver the shovel to. Oh, it's stuck. Photo to get. You don't get this every day. Next to it. <laughs> They're big. Thanks, man. I've been doing this since I was one and a half years old, so that's why I have such good equipment for this. <laughs> you got the iron fist <laughs> or the iron finger. <laughs> oh yeah. Here we go. Oh. 
You're gonna need a change in the parking lot. Yep, I know. <laughs> but at least I can't even hardly carry my clams. Yeah. Damn, beast. Whoa, Whoa what's that? It's either a worm or That's it's a, a Washington. Clam neck. Wait a minute. Got it. Ha <laughs> ha! Got it. Nice. I'm <laughs> gonna look for some out in the mud. <laughs> that gravel, I'm done with it. <laughs> recipe that goes back for a long, long time in my family. This is the right kind of clam for it. Let's see if we do it. Alrighty, so here's how it is. This is a recipe I tried, I think about 10 years ago with my best friend Alex, uh, black trumpets in the clam chowder. So you got this beautiful black trumpet infusion. We're using gaper clams, which are a larger variety of clams. So this is the horse neck. We've cleaned it, we've cut it up, enough talk. Let's just jump right in there and give this chowder a taste. It's going to be hot. That's really nice. Yeah, clams have a great texture. Nice and chewy. Black trumpet. Awesome flavor infused through there. Mm. Potatoes, celery, everything's got a good texture. Bread bowl. This is my first bread bowl ever. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this is my favorite clam chowder. Everybody's got their own kind of rendition and everything, but throwing the black trumpets in there makes a nice little uh, layer, right? Mm -hmm. All right, well, thanks for watching. We uh, we raked in today. Daniel got this beautiful dungy. Huge. Uh, this guy's like a, at least a seven incher, mm -hmm. something like that. Bunch of uh, steamer clams. I think we got, well, at least three limits of those, and then a whole bunch of Washingtons. Yep, I got it. Eight, eight Washingtons. <laughs> and a ton of horse neck clams. Huge horse necks. So we got real dirty for this. <laughs> <laughs> Just pizza <laughs> hell, too. <laughs> Fun trip. Yeah, yeah. it's a good time. <laughs> this, yeah, and uh, Kevin, thanks for organizing this. Dude, dude, my Appreciate pleasure. It. Hey, thanks for coming, Chancey. Yeah. Alright, so if you enjoyed this video, definitely check these guys, their channels out. I'm sure you've already seen them if you've seen our channel. Daniel, Philosophy D, Chensi, Fishing Chef. There'll be links here and here. Check them out. Wait, what are you doing? I'm holding my pants up because the freaking mud is pulling the waders down. I'm free at last! Oh. <laughs> no, that's where we got yeah, stuck. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I see you trolling. I'm trolling. <laughs> 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 like, I, <laughs> I saw that. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't right now. Oh.
Oh god! This no, is too funny. Stop. I'm totally drooling right now. Oh man.